Hello and welcome to your 24th C++ lesson and this one is on function pointers. Okay, so we have our basic program structure set up and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of functions. So, we're going to create a void function and we're actually going to call it void function. It's not going to take anything and it's going to see out a void function. And we're going to have an int function, which is going to be called int function. And it's going to take an integer, which it's going to call x. And all it's going to do is going to see out, actually, let's not make it see out, make it return, since it's an int function. Return x plus 5. Okay, so we have void function, which outputs void function and we have int function which returns the number you give it plus 5 okay so let's actually create a pointer to store the functions so a function pointer is exactly like a normal pointer but it works with functions now the syntax is a little strange and it'll take some getting used to but basically the first thing you do is the type in fact let's just change this from an int to a void let's make the c out x add 5 instead. Okay, so what we have is we have void function and int function, and we're going to create a pointer. So, because they're both voids, our function pointer needs to do voids. So it's a void function pointer, so it deals with void functions. And then in some brackets, we do an asterisk, that's a little star, and then the name of our pointer. So void pointer name and then some more brackets, the parameters. So in this case what we're going to do is we're just going to say no parameters. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say pointer name equals void function. So at the moment our pointer, our function pointer, is set to void function, which is this function. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to change this real quick. And instead of having an int function, we're going to have void function too. And it's just going to output void function too. So at the moment, pointer name is set to void function. So all we're going to do is say pointer name, just as we would usually call the void function function. And then I'm just going to go, oops, pointer name. And instead, we're going to set it to void function 2. And then we're going to again call pointer name. So, what this should do is it should output void function. And then, because we've changed it to void function 2, it should then output void function 2. So, let's just debug this. And here we go, we have void function and then void function 2. So, let's say we're going to deal with int functions with parameters. So, Let's just take our void function for a sec and let's work with this one. So we're going to change it to an int function and this is going to be the one we created earlier but then changed. So it's going to take int x and it's going to return x plus 5. So all we're going to do is in our function pointer variable pointer up here, all we're going to do is we're going to make an int. So it now takes int functions with an int parameter. So this is now perfectly set up, so it does int functions with an int parameter. And then, once again, we can just say pointer name equals, well, this name's a bit misleading now, square int function. Pointer name equals int function. And then we can just see out pointer name, and then let's just say we're going to give it a 5. So what that should do now is we have our int function, called int function, and it takes an integer which it calls x, then it returns x plus 5. So in our function pointer, it has int functions, which int function is, with an int parameter, which int function fits the specifications of. So we set pointer name to int function, and then all we do is we see out pointer name 5. 
So what it should do is it should output 10, because 5 plus 5 is 10. So let's just debug this. And here we go, 10. So that is really all there is to pointer functions. Oh, pointer functions? Function pointers. They're pretty simple to use, and they can come in useful in all types of different scenarios. So that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.